I want to hear what you plan to do to dismantle the cartels that influence the placement of students in a very lopsided way. If you check your records at the ministry, maybe if approved and you settle in, you realize one private university in the last one year has more students placed to them than Kenyatta and Nairobi University combined as a private university. You also realize maybe when you settle down, there was a program that was called the Teacher Professional Development Program that trains teachers. Teachers are asked to pay a sum of 6,000 shillings, and I've seen there was a petition in the last parliament where teachers were appealing that this be opened up to more universities so that teachers are able to access this program in universities that are nearer to them, and in many areas, public universities. But again, you realize that program was designed by those cartels in the ministry working together again with people in private universities to make sure that one university again, the, whole, the way the program was designed was to basically favor one private university at the expense of public universities and at a great cost to teachers because teachers are being asked to pay and the petition I think was asking the government to help them with uh, part of the 6,000 shillings and they pay part of it and also open it up to other public universities. You can imagine many teachers in this country were trained by, uh, through the, the teachers who taught us UON and K Kenyatta University. Though are never included in this program. I would also want to hear your views on how you will deal with those. Uh, last year, Honorable Machogu, is on the fair allocation of resources in the Ministry of Education, especially infrastructure uh, money that is uh, appropriated by this House to help build infrastructure. You know, l the last two years, the Ministry of Education has allocated resources towards the construction of classrooms. I would invite you to visit a school by the name Karai Day Secondary School in my constituency. Or five minutes from here, the new HGM secondary, where I built classrooms, about 15 classrooms and laboratories and offices at a cost of about 30 million shillings. The ministry has come and built one classroom at a cost of over 2 million shillings. The 15 classrooms are all not in use, and the ministry is building a new classroom, apparently for the, what is it called, the new junior secondary school. What are you going to do to ensure that you rationalize how the Ministry of Education, because from the budget committee, I can tell you this is a ministry that gobbles up the largest portion of our budget. But how these resources end up being used is either a duplication of what members of parliament are